Hey guys, my name's Lisa. Um, and then do uh, Twin Flame, Soulmate, Divine Love Connection Reading, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, or usually I do Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, and then the Connection Energies, and just build... <clears throat> I was just thinking about the Divine Feminine. Is the Divine Feminine on the right or the left? I have to, like, look at it again. I've been thinking I've been doing it backwards, but maybe I've been doing it the right way. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do Divine Masculine on this side, Divine Feminine on this side, and the Connecting Energies on the right. All right, so please just give me one card for Divine Masculine. Forgiving and learning. And it says release the X, so they may be... As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So... I don't know, I was like just really drawn to the horn. See, he's holding his horn. Like he's going to blow the horn on something. And that's what I heard, like blow the horn. Hmm. Somebody's begging for his forgiveness. So I don't know if he's like... If I remember correctly, I know like he's been going through something, the Divine Masculine have been going through something like just kind of um, some kind of betrayal. That's what I just heard, betrayal. I don't know if the Divine Masculine can, I mean, look at his face. He's like really like heartbroken. All right, let's see. And it says release your ex. So maybe this is for um, those divine masculine that have been in three-party situations or, you know, there's that third energy. You don't necessarily have to be um, you know, it's not like he's like by day he's, in, I mean, I don't know, maybe with some of them that you, there's like involvement, but I feel like um most of the um, energy that I'm, I'm reading for, I feel like we're past that point. Like we've, we've said goodbye to the divine masculine because we didn't want any to be a part of that anymore. But I feel like whatever um, the karmic, that's, I guess that's the word, the karmic relationships that they have been having um, are ending. I feel like something happened. And I just noticed the shield swung over his back. So it's like he no longer feels like he has to defend himself against this person. Like, yeah, something happened. I feel like something happened. We'll find out. All right. One card for the Divine Feminine, please. One card for Divine Feminine Energy. Just give me one card for the Divine Feminine, please. One card for Divine Feminine Energy. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah. The wedding card's at the bottom.
I mean, she's like offering something up to someone else. Like I feel like she's come to see somebody. It's almost like a peace offering. I wonder if, um, There's something going on here between the two of them as well. Oops. Or maybe like, okay, so what, what else I just heard? It's like, it's, um, it's comforting. It, it's like a comfort that's coming that she's bringing. The Divine Feminine. Oh, this is very interesting. Let's see what's going on. All right. Give me one card for the connection. Right. Oh, two cards flipped. Unrequited love and heart to heart conversations. What's at the bottom? Flirt. Okay, so I'm feeling like there's definitely an ending of some karmic relationships. Um, I don't know. You see how his head is like turned off in the distance and she's like here with this offering. I just feel like, and then there's this one down here, like begging for forgiveness. Like it's a choice. Like she's over here. His divine feminine's over here. Like, look, look what I have. You know, I, I, she's like offering him flowers and he's over here. And this person feels horrible about whatever they've done. But he's like, I don't know if I could do this again. Like he wants to, like he's, he's put a lot of time into this. And, and just remember like the energy is, is fluid. So it's like, when I'm saying he, it could be she, you know, vice versa, but, and this could be, uh, and you know, divine feminine, divine masculine, you know, the energies intertwined. So, but I just feel like the divine feminine is, He's seeing that she has something to offer him. He's like, whatever this person has done has made him notice that she's been over here holding this, offering something to him. And look, like this is all the dark. I mean, and the angels are guiding him to make this awareness to see this, to see her over here. And look, it's like clear skies and there's blue. This blue's like the throat chakra. I don't know about anybody else, but I've had a lot of like throat, like just coughing my throat, you know, having to do things for, um, do chakra, the, my throat chakra clearing. So I don't know if anybody else wants to do that. Feel free. I said it for something. <laughs> And this is like, there's something definitely ending. There's, I also just heard like what he thought was unrequited love. Like he's starting to, there's some divine masculine waking up to, or realizing that the divine feminine 
really does have something to offer her. Like, I don't know. She just looks so innocent and pure and it's just innocent and very childlike, you know? Kind and gentle. All right, let's get some clarifiers. All right, let's clarify this forgiving and learning. Please give me a couple clarifiers for the divine masculine in this forgiving and learning. Yeah, he definitely blew the horn on something. Somebody was caught. Yeah, he's being asked to have courage and strength. To start something new. Look. What else have you got for me for the Divine Masculine? Yeah, look. There's the horn again. He's hearing it. He's seeing it. He's like seeing her. He's. I feel like he's seeing the Divine Feminine in total, a totally different light. And look, here's page, page of Pentacles again. This is the beginning of something real and um, tangible. And he's really being guided to have courage and strength to um, move forward. Like to, to, I'm hearing judgment. I'm hearing reconciliation. I mean, he's blowing the horn there. He's hearing the call. Like he sees it. Like he finally sees her. I just feel like he's, I just keep feeling, I have this feeling of like, he just is like, sees her for, and look, he like, look at this face. Like, he's like, oh my gosh, I just can't believe all this time she's been here offering me this. Because this is how I'm looking at this. You see? Wow. All right, so let's get um, clarifiers for Divine Feminine. A couple clarifiers for the Divine Feminine, please. Yeah. This is the Knight of Cups, like, she's been offering her love. <laughs> she's like, she's made her choice, like, she knows what she wants. She's like seriously ready, you know, like to, like there's no back and forth wavering. Let's see. What else? Clarify the divine feminine, please. Give me another card to clarify the divine. Wow. Look at this. She's been waiting. And he's coming. He's like waking up to the truth and I feel like and he's charging in with the truth. I mean, the sun is in, in the, in between the two of them. And that's like the clarity. That's the, um, new. Rebirth. And there's, 
there's two, um, I don't know, Leo, Leo cards, but I feel like that was like, in like August, it was August Leo season, but I think we're headed into Virgo season. But this is about courage and the yellow solar plexus. Citrine. Look. She's going to come into clarity because he's charging in to bring it to her. And something new is going to start. Here comes the sun. That's what I just heard that song. That's an old song, but um, here comes the sun. And I say, I don't know. I that, That's going on in my head right now. So stay optimistic about your love life, divine feminine. Divine Masculine are figuring it out. They're going to get the courage to come forward. To pl quit playing games with this over here. Whatever he's been doing. Releasing the past. Releasing the X. Remember that was at the bottom of the card? Okay, so let's clarify this connection energy. So, please clarify this unrequited love card. I feel like he's like trying to get her to pay attention to him. She's just like totally blown away that he's approaching her like this. Like she wants to, she's curious as to what he has to say because she never expected him to come and approach her like this. You see her face? Like she is stunned. Okay, so maybe something very surprising is going to happen here soon. All right, let's see. Clarify this unrequited love card for the connection, please. Maybe both of them are shocked. Okay, so this is like... Because there's been a lot of betrayal in this relationship, and then also... This is also the ending of a relationship because of the betrayal. But this is why she's so s stunned. Like, because even after all this betrayal deep down inside, she loves him. And so she wants to hear what he has to say. Because and see, look, he's like wearing green and red. Maybe in this relationship in this, and I'm talking about the divine feminine and divine masculine. I 
mean, it's like going through, I don't know. I just feel like it's like going through these, uh, It's the green and red. It's like the heart chakra and like getting grounded. Like, but, and then there's like, I was drawn to the red capes over here too. See? And then this big yellow and the yellow for the solar plexus. It's like, and see how they're yellow. It's like, to get what they wanted, somebody had to leave some people behind. Or maybe like there's, there's just been a lot of um, tick for tat. Let's see. Is there another card to represent this? To clarify this unrequited love card, please. Need another card for this. I'm not quite above. Another clarifier. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we got the Ace of Pentacles here. This is like it's a gift from God, you know. And then it kind of goes a little deep here, but this is what I was drawn to: this green cape that's like goes under her her head. And again, like there's this yellow. It's like the confidence. It's because the green represents the heart chakra. And the fact that it's over her head here, it's like in this cap, it's it tells me that it's like the head and the heart are on the same page. The head and the heart. It's like realizing the realness of and the value of what was always in their like. It's just cherishing this. This opportunity. Because see, like, he's charging in. Someone's charging in with the truth. Like, no matter what. To this person that's just been standing there offering the gift of who they are this whole time. In spite of this, that's why she stops to listen. And this is like just lies in mind games. Swords are are um, your mind and your um, your words, you know. So this is like um, 
lies and just, yeah, mind games. And still being willing to offer love and stability, like still being there, willing. Wow. It's like, and I feel like divine masculine are just realizing this are just becoming aware of this. All right. So let's see. Clarify this heart to heart conversation. Yeah. Communication back and forth. This is like, I don't know, so there might be some of it's like dealing, I don't like to say signs, but the Leo card just like keeps, the Leo just keeps on showing up here, you know, Leo. So maybe some of you are dealing with the Leo, but that could be sun, moon, or rising, you know what I mean? So it's like, all of us could have our divine masculine with the Leo in their chart, or we could be Leos, whatever. All right. So what else? Uh, another clarifier for heart to heart conversations. Another clarifier for heart to heart conversations. Another clarifier. Ooh. Yeah. Some, somebody is um, coming forward with, some clarity. There's the yellow again. I think that they are like really needing some um, confidence to come forward, you know, courage and confidence because they really feel like crapola for all this shit, but you know, Divine Masculine, know that the Divine Feminine, and I'm just saying this, like, just know that the Divine Feminine love you. Like, they, they, they just do. And, you know, we got this Five of Swords out again, so... feel like this is it's like it doesn't have to be this way speak the truth but 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 you can speak your truth without being mean you know even if you're right you know what i mean like it's like do you want to be right or do you want to be happy and the forgiveness needs to come from both sides and look again here's this green and yellow see this and the red, the green, yellow, and red, which is like heart chakra, solar plexus, and the um, root chakra. Because I feel like something, and look, divine masculine, divine feminine. Something's coming to light. Something like... There's been some kind of um, something hidden. And uh, sorry, my daughter's in here. She just walked in. Look, like be easy. We don't have... Because there's a new love coming. If you've been separated from each other, like it's it's changing. Like I feel like that's changing. You you might still be at a distance from each other. This even gives me 
um, indication that some some of you may be uh, at a distance from your divine counterpart. You might have to travel to see each other, but but that's coming, and like it's like a new day is coming. Clarity is coming. I mean, the sun card separates these two. They're and they're pointing straight at each other. All right, so. I just got this need to do these. Let's see. Where are we at? 29. All right. So let's get one for Divine Masculine. Advice for, okay, no, let's do what does the Divine Masculine want the Divine Feminine to know? Like a message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. What is one message to the Divine Feminine from the Divine Masculine? is a message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Wow. You guys are going to freak out. He is so aware. He knows now. The union and the, the I'm like, I can't even the union of hearts and spiritual connection. Holy crap. I mean, look at these cards. This is Holy crap, that is just, let's see, it's at the bottom. Oh, you can't make this up. I love you. That's deep, guys. That's just magical. Stay open. Stay optimistic. Divine Feminine, I don't care how it looks. Stay optimistic. All right. One message from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine, please. Message from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. One message from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine, please. Ooh, they got two as well. All right, let me see. Look to your inner strength, which totally goes with this courage card. And look to your inner strength. And love is all around you. Be brave, Divine Masculine. Your Divine Feminine's even saying so. You are stronger than you realize. You could do this. Well, wow. let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Rest and relaxation is essential. Slow and steady wins the race. You know? I don't have to rush this. But it's coming. It's like... It's coming. All right. So let's get a um, message from Spirit to both... Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. What is their connecting advice? Advice for this connection. What advice do you have for this connection? Advice for this connection. Advice for this connection, please. I just heard three. Something three. Uh, I think wands are, I think cups are, cups are days and like hours and minutes. I think wands are weeks. I don't know. But I just, was, while I was shuffling, I saw like the three, 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 three. All right. I saw the three wands card. So, um, all right. So advice. Ooh. And this, this is so crazy because this like goes so much with, um, right before I made this video, I made another video, just kind of like my own 
two cents of like whatever is going on because it just like feels like very still right now. So, um, but this is the advice from spirit be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So it's do what's in front of you. I mean, look at, look at this. This is like, this just coincides with the, um, the daily message thing that I just posted before. This is like, so blowing my mind. I just love how it all is connected. It's so cool. I mean, we're all connected, but I mean, I just, I don't know. All this stuff like blows my mind too. Like when I, when it synchronizes like so perfectly, it's just awesome. So what's at the bottom? Honesty is essential. Yeah. Look, the mask. I was really drawn to the mask. It's like no more masks. It's like, just come clean. Every, like, just put it all out there. Heart to heart conversations. Let's get it done. We don't got to be nasty. Let's just talk like, and I mean, one of my favorite things to do to help me stay in the moment is look down at my feet. As I look down at my feet, it reminds me where I am, and then I look up, take a deep breath, and I just do what's in front of me to do, and sometimes I have to do that multiple times throughout the day, and uh, anyway, that's just something that helps me, but this was a really beautiful reading, guys, and I'm so glad I did it, and I will see you soon, and um, yeah, slow and steady wins the race. We're all in this together, guys. Have a great day. Bye.